iOS 15.2 is like the software in GIF that just keeps on giving. This software adds another amazing new feature to the lock screen of the iPhone that allows you to restore your device and erase your device directly from the lock screen of your iPhone if you've ever forgotten the passcode. And this new feature is called a Security Lockout. And I'll explain everything you need to know in regards to Security Lockout. But as you can see here, this screenshot of the lock screen shows us Erase iPhone Option in Emergency Call. So that's the new option there, Erase iPhone. Now, Apple had mentioned on their website, I'll link this in the description down below, how to reset your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch when you forget your passcode. So let's go over everything you need to know about about security lockout in iOS 15.2. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now as you can see right here, I have this iPhone 10R running iOS 15.2 and that's the first thing you need to know, iOS 15.2 or later needs to be running on your device. Now I've noticed in order to activate this particular option, you have to lock yourself out three times. So for example, if you enter the passcode wrong five times, you first get locked out for one minute. You won't see this option. If you try again after one minute, it'll lock you out for five minutes. You won't see this option. If you try again after the five minutes expire and you try to unlock your device, then you'll see this option, erase iPhone. Now once you click erase iPhone, this will ask you to enter your Apple ID password. And now there's a few things you need to know is make sure the device is connected to a network, so the carrier, or a Wi-Fi connection, okay? So if you try to reboot your device when you're locked out, this will cause the device to lose the Wi-Fi and network connection, so you don't wanna do that. So if you lock yourself out, just make sure you have a network connection, enter your Apple ID password, and you'll be able to reset and erase this device completely. Keep in mind, this will erase everything on this device, but once you enter your Apple ID and password, you'll be able to regain access to this device. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we go, we've entered the password for the Apple ID here and we're going to go ahead and erase this device without the aid of a computer so no need for a computer here this is all happening directly on the device this is actually pushing Apple devices to a true wireless future so independent devices without the need of a computer this is one step closer we're also hoping for Apple to bring an auto restore option to the lock screen as well within the future here at iOS maybe iOS 16 where the iPhone can completely restore itself without the need of a computer uh, from DFU mode that is so let's wait for the final boot up here and take a control of this device again I'm sure you've probably known someone that's locked themselves out of their devices for a very long time and if they're running iOS 15.2 from here on out this fixes this particular issue and there it is within a matter of about two minutes the iPhone has completely restored itself here and as you can see I can now go ahead and reset this device and can gain complete access to this device with another Apple device. So right here it is. I can set my iPhone next to it and just restore this device completely with the same data on this iPhone with the iPhone that I just reset it. So we can do that and boom, just like so, we now reset it, this device. The brightness is super high, so you can't really see that here, but there it is. It's completely restoring. And that about brings an end to this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.